document must clearly define the fundamental pillars of your thinking, of your logic, in a very clear way and simple way, so that everybody in your organization, regardless of their background, regardless of where they're coming from, they can understand the logic that you're trying to present. You also need to employ as many facts as possible, the facts that support your thinking. And you need to arrange the, these facts for in a sequence, starting by the least important, going gradually to the more important, and then the most important. And you conclude with the most important fact. By doing that, you're building momentum in the logic that you're presenting to them. Like a, like a Lego structure, you're building it one block after the other, one block after the other. And you also need to use all the evidence that you can collect. So you don't just present the facts, the parameters, the realities that cannot be disputed, but you use evidence from the past and from the, from the present, an example, all for the sake of supporting your argument. You need to be specific. Generalities will not work because generalities will make your argument weaker. So the more specific you are, the more solid is what you're presenting to them. And you need to avoid controversial issues. So never state any fact or evidence or any um, statement that people can argue whether it is true or not true. If you do that, you will weaken your argument. So make sure that the material that you're using for your argument is non-negotiable. Nobody will disagree that what you're saying is factual and true. Then you need to state your conclusion. And by stating your conclusion, you make it very clear what your position on this logic is. So you present the entire argument and you conclude, right? Um, well, or the, the main idea, and then you state your position in an assertive way, in a very clear way that tells everybody that you personally absolutely believe in what you're saying and it's very clear to you and that you want them in an open and respectful way to join you in accepting this argument. Once you have done that over and over and over again, with time, you will see this process, this language, this speech, this conversation, this presentation will refine itself. And then you will get to a point where you can make a complete sound presentation in different forms to people around you so that you can start the process of moving your people in the direction that you want them to. And that is to embark in a journey of um, paradigm shift changing their mindset and their uh, mentality and the way they view and think about the world.